Sophia. My name is Sister P. Soko. I live at number six, Adoboye, Mero Alagbodo. I want to thank God for what God is for me, for delivering me from stomach pain. I want to thank God. Moreto, please, can I read a song to my Sing. God? Abona luma bolu sano ozu inye Abona luma bolu sano ozu inye Abona luma bolu sano ozu inye Kine Choose and praise the Lord Hallelujah My testimony goes like this It happened on the 6th of December that day I went to shop, I came back, I went to Virgin in the night. In that Virgin, I could not be able to join them to pray. I was, I can't sleep, I can't sit down, I was just doing some hard threats. And I don't want to pass there before I go to my shop. I have to come back home. Coming back home, my stomach was just turning me, so I thought maybe he's hungry. I look for food and eat. I said, let me lie down, but I can't lie down. Before I know it, the stomach became so serious. I was just shouting, shouting and calling on God, calling upon the name of God or choosing for him to intervene. But on the process of this stomach pain, before I know it's my neighbor, they have to come. They now rush me. They told me, they started calling some pastor for prayer. After the prayer, they say, can I walk? Let us go to hospital. I say, I can't walk. They have to go and chat at Mara. They rush me to the hospital. They, when they get to the hospital, they say I have to go for tests, for scan. But because of the pain, they have to give me, give me two injections so that I go for a scan. After the scan, I came back. The scan was saying that it's appendix. They said I have to do me operation. I said, but if it's uh, uh, appendix, appendix by the right side, but this one is, is, is my stomach. They said they have to go for operation. I have to call my people. They said I should come back home. That is how I travel back home to East. Getting there, they rushed me again to the hospital. Try to stay in that hospital, I was just shouting. I was just calling on God of choosing. The pain was so serious. Try to stay in that hospital. I can't sleep. I was just shouting because I don't want to do that operation before. So I, I just told them that they should just treat other things that they, they say typhoid. They should treat it. Before you know it, after they said I should go for a scan again, I went for a scan. The man said that they have to operate me. They will move my womb. They have to remove my womb. Ah, I said no. Hmm. So, but because of the pain, and when I was there, another doctor came in. When he checked at me, he said, this is a very acid that it can be dissolved. But when that doctor that housed the hospital had it, he said no. He was so angry. He said I must go for operation. So, but because of staying there, trapped and the pain, I have to tell her that I should carry on the operation. They said I should go for another scan. Before going there, I told her that because of the pain, they have to give me another injection for the pain to cease. I went for another scan. Coming back, they have already prepared where I would pass and enter theater. I was in that place. Ants around me everywhere. I was so surprised. Only where I was, ants. Ah, within me, I was saying, what kind of ant is this? I was even telling the nurses. I look at ants everywhere. Only where I was. Before I know it, go use a woman. The woman told my sister that they should go and tell me that this is not operation. That devil planned to take their self life in the theater, not me. That is, when they told me that, and I said, ah, I can't carry on the operation. That is how they discharged me from the hospital. They took me to another hospital. They took me to four hospitals. After this one treat, the other one we treat, the other one treat. But at the, during the time of that Mbudi experience, Lagos Mbudi experience, I have to connect it to my geo. So my geo now, the prayer and everything. And after it, I have to test my Jew. My Jew pray for me. And after the prayer, everything just ceased like that. Power. And none of the operation was carrying out. Hmm. Thank you, Father. So I want to really thank God for what God did for me. I told God that once he hit me, I will come here and testify. And I will roll myself on the ground. I want to appreciate God. If it's not God, if it's not the mercy of God, I don't really know what the enemy planned against me. But God see me true. I want to give him all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Describe unto his holy name in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for my Chio, heaven at last. All the choosy world, world member, heaven at last. And me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, Margarita, 
I want to lower myself for the grade. That is what I promised God. Okay. Shall we clap and appreciate God of Chosen? Clap and appreciate Him. The evil affliction in the stomach. Imagine they say they will operate her and remove the womb from her. Imagine such. But God used a woman and said, you don't need operation. And after connecting to Ingbidi 2022 Lagos experience and texting our pastor, prayer was made and that evil was cancelled. Operation was cancelled. Shall we clap and appreciate God of Chosen? Are you here with sicknesses, affliction? I want 